it's Michelle and welcome to G in the Q. This week we are talking all things pretty and shiny. That's right, we are talking about G's jewels and all of the beautiful jewelers that we carry in G Loretta. Now a couple weeks ago we briefly touched on a brand new jewelry line that we're carrying called VSA. It stands for Virgins, Saints, and Angels and it is just an exquisite line that we got in. Now, the jeweler is originally from the U.S., but she's now in Mexico where she has beautiful artisans hand beading her stuff. The, all of the pendants are hand painted, and it is just such a beautiful line that you girls are going to love. Now, what makes it extra special is that the artisans actually make colors exclusive to G. Loretta. We get to pick the beads and the colors and really just gear towards what you girls are going to love, which makes it extra special special. So the next few artists that we're going to talk about are all native New Mexicans and we're going to begin with the award-winning Lawrence Baca. Now if you know G. Loretta you know that all of us are always decked out in our Baca beads. Now if you're just starting your collection the great thing is maybe you're going to start with just a single strand and maybe a pretty little bracelet. Well it's so easy to build upon. Maybe from there you're going to go with a three strand or maybe you want to mix in some turquoise with your collection. Lawrence Baca jewelry is great because you can wear it from day to night, you can wear it with your athleisure wear, you can wear it with your business wear, you can wear it with your evening wear, and it's really just so versatile and you can really just mix it up so easily. You can even throw on just one piece of Lawrence Baca and I am telling you girls, it really is just a showstopper. So the next artist that we're going to talk about now is Melody Owen. Now her stuff is really great because it's so, so unique. It is like nothing you girls have ever seen before. What's really special about her is that she actually takes steel and hand manipulates every little curve and every little twist and turn. Also, she loves to add just a bit of sparkle to all of her pieces. So like the necklace that I'm wearing now, it's a beautiful floral necklace and she really just creates every twist, every turn like we talked about, but she adds just a pop of color. And same with the little earrings that I have on too. Now, I know you girls hear steel and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, her, her jewelry must weigh a ton, but it really doesn't. It's super lightweight and just super fun and really just goes with everything. Now, another great piece that Melody creates is this gorgeous little pin. Now, stars are taking over the fashion industry, so Melody is just right on trend with this. And the fun thing about this is that you can... Uh, all you do is you just kind of weave it into the fabric of any blouse or any shirt or really just any scarf, which is the way I personally love to do it. So what you do is you're just going to tie your scarf on however which way you prefer and you're going to take the star on the pointy end and you are just going to sort of weave it through the fabric and it's going to add just a fun little unexpected twist to your scarf or your blouse or your jacket or whatever you prefer to add a little sparkle to. So our next jeweler is Michelle McMillan. Now we've been carrying Michelle for years and years and she is so so wonderful because she is our world traveler. She travels all over the world and really just gets inspiration from all of the places that she goes to. She comes back and she unveils just gorgeous gorgeous art. Now if you're familiar with Michelle, a couple years back she made um, a Roman coin collection. She also brought back Turkish slate for us and you know when she brought it into the store we saw pieces of slate but she made those pieces into gorgeous crosses and hearts and the slate has gorgeous sparkly mica in it and the collection just turned out so so beautiful. She also got inspired by Albuquerque, New Mexico and she made a little skull collection. So if you haven't seen the skull you have to come in and check it out. Her work is just absolutely beautiful and we never know where she's gonna go next or where her inspiration is gonna come from and it's always just such a surprise to us and always just such a treat.